Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watch Story Examination. My name is Winston. I'm going to be reading for you two comments from video 690 and respond. Children's lives matter. I love that handle. Trinity or no Trinity, does it make a difference what you believe? Will our everlasting salvation depend on what we believe in this matter? Will God strike us dead if we, in our heart and mind, cannot grasp the concept of the Trinity doctrine? This is a serious question. If you say yes, then clearly God is not love. Why? Would it not be cruel for God to destroy one simply because of one's limited mental capacity to comprehend such a complex concept? But if you say no, a God of love would not do such a thing, then why do we argue and debate matters that in the end will have no bearing on salvation? Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Anyone who puts his faith in him will not be disappointed. My knee bends to Jesus and he alone. Whether he is God's son or almighty God himself to me is not what will give me life. I once was doing a series, The Comment of the Week. Man, I wish I was doing it. That would be the comment of the week. I have said it before in a previous video that while I believe in the Trinity, it is not so important for me to convince you of it. It is not so important to me that you grasp the concept of the Trinity because it is not salvific, meaning it, is not, it does not pertain to salvation. To know God is to understand his desire for you. That is basically what it is about. To know that he is the creator of the universe, that he loves you, that he wants to save you and know what his will for your life is, is what's important. And so I am so glad that this comment was made. I actually said something similar in a previous video. I've done so many videos now that I do not recall which one it was. I have friends who attend the very church I attend who does not believe in the Trinity, but we are this close. I have, one was the best man at my wedding. There's another one who is working along with me on a, on a project now. Good friend of mine. We are close, but we do not share the same belief. But we also understand, do not, well, <laughs> it, I, oh boy. I'm just remembering something about my other friend because he also shares the view that it is, it is Satan. Anyhow. But the question, therefore, and I want to agree with you because that's the very point I'm making, that God is not going to destroy you because you could not grasp everything about him. That would be, he would not be God. But, and then comes the very important question. Why then debate it? And I'll read the second comment to answer that question. Mathlet said, Winston, it is amazing how you twist the scriptures. You are very skilled, I have to admit it. Just as you accuse others of always using the same scriptures to support their arguments, you do the same. You yourself said in this video that Jesus prayed to his Father. What is the point of praying to the Father if he is the Father himself? 
how do you explain these scriptures? And he went on, or she went on. That is the problem. It's like every time I open my mouth and the subject of the Trinity comes up, someone misses the point. And that is why I keep revisiting the subject to clarify the point. The Trinity doctrine does not say that Jesus is the Father. I did not say that Jesus is the Father. And what scripture are you accusing me of twisting or what scripture are you accusing me of delving on? Because didn't I state in the very video that I will not be debating the subject of the Trinity? Didn't I state in the video that I have done a series on the Trinity and that I will place a link in the description? Because the point of the video was missed. But I felt I needed to clarify that. I never said, and Trinitarians do not believe, that Jesus is the Father. The doctrine is the Father is God. The Father is not the Son. Anyhow, you, you know what? I will not watch the series. I've placed a link in the description again. But, but other persons watching know and understand that that is not what we're saying. And so what is happening, which is the problem, many of the persons who reject the doctrine of the Trinity do not understand what they are rejecting. They are rejecting something that the doctrine is not. So if you are rejecting, you're clearly rejecting the notion that Jesus is the Father. And Jehovah's Witnesses ask that silly question. It really is a silly question when for those who understand what the doctrine is. Because no Trinitarian ever told you that Jesus is the Father. It is the watchtower that has lied to you that that is what Trinitarians are saying. Jesus is not the Father. <laughs> Jesus prayed to the Father. I am going to be in the interest of time because I saw that comment. Or oh, let me find it. Let me find it because it is important just to give clarification. Fabiola Ann, God. There is only one God. God is not three gods. There is one God exists in three persons. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Time. Time is past, present, and future. But there are not three times, only one. Conclusion. God is one being consisting of three co-equal, co-eternal persons. What Jehovah's Witnesses need to learn. Person doesn't mean being. Human beings is what we are as a species. Person is what we are as an individual. Jehovah's Witnesses seem to understand very well one governing body, eight persons, that they understand. Do not misunderstand me or accuse me of suggesting that Jesus is the Father. No. But the point of the video, I believe, was missed. And so I want to make a second attempt. But this is what I'm going to do. I am not going to come. It seems that whenever we, I say Trinity, it branches off into a debate. And because I started this video clarifying some points, I am expecting again that it is going to be, you're going to continue debating this again, and the more s substantive point will not be discussed. 
And so what I'm going to be doing now is end this video and do a short video just making that one point. Because this is what keeps happening. To answer the question, the important question that was asked, if it is not salvific, why do we spend so much time discussing it? Because it seems we are, I am constantly trying to clarify things that people are misunderstanding. And so I end this video now and I do another video coming up with the very important point that I want you all to understand because I deem it important. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.